hi welcome to the second lesson of this tutorial please if you have just joined this video it means you have missed out on the previous tutorial for the first lesson please subscribe to be able to access my previous video content and to be able to access the next video content thank you today we begin by entering the scores obtained by a student for the subjects taken Right now since we have filled their scores obtained in the subjects taken now we have to sum up the total number of scores for each subject so if if each subject carries 100 marks that means the five subject will be having a total of 500 marks now we type 500 then we double click on the cell to autofill the rest of the student or we can click on the plus sign and drag it to the last student to fill it we will now calculate the scores obtained for each subject taken this means we will need to use the sum function to calculate the scores obtained for each subject type is equal to sum the function will appear then you double click it to select it you can equally use the formula bar that will help you to type the function well there are two ways of summing the scores obtained first you input the function is equal to sum then you go to the subject you click the subject one by one the first to the last one the second is to input the function as well is equal to sum then you move to the first subject you click and drag it across to the last subject you can now double click to autofill the scores for the rest of the students we will now calculate the percentage out of the obtained scores the percentage score can be calculated by dividing the obtained score by the total score. Now in the percentage column, you type is equal to, now you go and select the obtained score, that is I5, then you type your division sign, then you select H5, that is the total score, then you hit on enter. You can now double click to autofill or you click on the plus sign and drag it to the last persons to obtain their percentages you will notice that in the percentage column instead of the numbers to be in percentages they are rather in decimals so what we are supposed to do is to highlight the whole column then we move to the ribbon now in the number command you click on the percentage sign so that they all change to percentages now that we have gotten percentages for a student we will now have to go and grade them but this level we grade them using the interpretation such as the excellent very good and direct. so we insert a new column
Now we enter the name Greek to interpret their percentage scores. In the grading, we introduce the nested if function to calculate or interpret their scores obtained in the exams. We type is equal to if now we double click the if from the drop down to select it we we then move to the formula bar because there's much space there to be able to enter our info, uh, our function so right now now this is a log logic calculation or logic interpretation of whatever you are going to put in there so in the input the if is now going to loop or is going to iterate uh, to calculate now we are going to use it based on the percentages so we said that the percentage colon is j and the rule is five so when we are going to use the next step if we are going to say that if j5 is greater than or equal to 80 percent give that to them excellent or if that student j5 is greater than or equal to 75 then give that student very good or if the student that is j5 is greater than or equal to 70 now give that student good i hope you have seen that I entreat that you always take note of the parenthesis that is the opening parenthesis or the opening bracket and also the comma then the quotation marks it is very important now we continue our function now we say if a student that is j5 is greater than or equal to 60 now what should we give the student we say okay the student should be given above average now if the student doesn't score 60 or more than that then you see or if the student that is j5 is greater than or equal to 55 then we say that give the student average i hope you get that now what if the student doesn't get 55 or more now if the student happen to get 50 that is 50 percent now we say okay if j5 or the student is equal to or that is greater than or equal to 50 50 percent then the student should get pass right now notice something here if a student score below 50 now we we shouldn't use the if sign we just say fail i hope we get that hi guys remember to subscribe for more video contents and to be able to access my previous videos right now it is important for you to calculate the number of opening parentheses in the function then you move to the last function that's the end of the function and close all the opening parentheses otherwise the function will not work when we are done with inputting our formula we hit on the enter key 
then we drag to the last name to autofill this is a step by step lesson tutorial brought to you by zomsala multimedia this brings us to the end of today's lesson in our next tutorial we'll look at positions and also to apply conditional formatting thank you for watching and have a nice day bye